So thanks for hanging in there. We already made, we're already in grand finals, so uh, this is definitely going to be one of my one of my more hyped up uh, grand finals. I expect a lot from these two. Yeah, this actually should be pretty fun. I'm interested to see what uh, Terrence is going to pull out. I'm actually really curious if Terrence is going to stay hollow the entire time as well. Yeah, since like Terrence kind of been off the map, it's kind of difficult to tell who, what characters he has under his belt. I'm He's still a great player. I'm sure he has a ton of characters that in his character pool. But in terms of what he wants to actually use in a Wi-Fi tournament, that I'm not sure. I'm sure those two are just uh, getting their characters set up. set up. Yep, they're already in here. And look at that, they're good to go. Game one, Palutena versus uh, Richter. Let's get it. Yeah, let's see if the internet providers will allow us to have this map. So far, it looks good. Looks like the connection is stable, so that's good news. Both players jumping right into it. Okay, the Holy Cross going. And the traps are set up. Dom for swinging. I'm also trying to take into account the, the platforms and how Tyrant's going to use it. You see Tyrant uh, retreating to these platforms to, to the horizontal space that Dom's putting out. I love that. Yeah, and I want to critique that explosive flame that we saw Tyrant throw out. Like, it's such a close range, but to be honest, he's taken so many stocks today with a close range explosive flame. I feel like he's almost banking on players not expecting it. Dash attack. Nope. Surprisingly enough, and it looked like Dom almost went straight up too. Now, one thing I know Tyrant likes to do with his Palutena is he likes to use dash attack to catch landings, and he's not having that opportunity against Dom because you can see Dom's always landing with back air or forward air. He's always putting out a threat that's stopping the approach. Mm. 
Give me getting a little bit of extra damage from the Holy Fire. Setting up the Holy Cross combo. Tyrant sitting back, throwing a couple projectiles. The counter coming into play. That's a move you don't see too often from Palutena. Not at all. Wow. I'm in the triple. He, he's done it. <laughs> he can get it. Okay. And it's so reminiscent of like the how Shulk would use his falling up air to combo into up airs. Back forced to use the double jump, that axe was gonna connect. Not yet. But landing below or landing above Dom, not where you wanna be. <laughs> Dang, my boy, my boy really said farewell. <laughs> See ya, human. Yeah, peace sign and everything. Damn, was Richter talking to strides a little? <laughs> Um, you know, advertising the the Twitch channel. Gotta respect the hustle. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. You gotta always appreciate the grind. A good nair. Yeah, I saw the, the early outcome of Dom. Like even though it's a Dom had set down on the water, like, you could tell he was really still scared to get out of. He didn't want to be in that corner, so good stuff there, right there. Okay, opportunity here. Fair. I'm just trying to use it for setup, but overcommits there with the the wave line uh, and then the platform drop in the fair it just took way too long. Yeah, forward throw and here comes those ledge setups, but recovering high onto the platform. Dom's still able to get a little bit of extra damage with the Nair, but the uh, Tyrant able to escape with the life. Yeah. I love the 50-15 like jungle trap there by Dom. Or like once he sees like you're near the uh about to land, it's like you'll throw out an axe. And then you know, so it's like, go to the next spot that you could land depending if you have a direction there. Like, so that's the smart stuff while I'm good wave land. Yeah, holy fire to F smash. You don't yeah, even need the tipper. No, not at all. It's just the confidence that he exerted. The boy's always telling him to take this, dude. <laughs> Everything must go. Getting clipped with another forwarder. Dom putting Tyrant back in the corner. There we go, Wheel of Fortune. Not taking too much damage. Take this. Take this. Take this. Okay, can he escape the corner game? Getting clipped by the Holy Cross. Oh, finally found Finds its mark there. And Dom's gonna take that stop. Pretty sizable lead here. I'm just curious to see what we're gonna see Tyron do. The thing honestly, is that I feel Tyron has been able to destroy a lot of players with just his sheer solid and fundamental understanding of Smash, right? But 
Yeah. It's so hard to remember how to come back with this game support. Of course, it's someone who's introduced in the game support. Yeah, I know. I, I get what you're saying. Like, typically, the neutral is where retirement really thrives. Uh, especially, like, earlier today, we were able to see that. But here, Dom is making Tyrant play a completely different type of neutral. Yeah. Just the amount of items that are getting thrown at Tyrant. Oh yeah, I mean, it's just great because like the way that he's like setting up these traps is so good, so mobile. Dude, I love that man. These down to one setups. I'm going for it. I respect it. I respect all of that in the angle. Dude, it's so damn good. That Paulo had nowhere to go. Yes, Dom is working on a reset. One more game and that'll be the bracket reset. My band came to play. Straight to business. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything better than uh, to see these two play in Grand Finals for this MSM. Not through the... I mean, so far, like, I feel like a lot of people's gameplay has just been so ex explosive, man. It's been amazing to watch. It's been some really good stuff. Now, I'm curious as to what we're going to see from the current. I, mean, I know he's dabbled with so many characters, um, but at least from what I've seen from him, in late it's been he's just been chilling with the good old, the good old trusted Hollow, right? So yeah, and I, that's really what he's been uh, locking in as far as this event goes. But whoa, okay, here we go. A character switch from Tyrant and the, the switch I that I honestly it. wanted to see. Yeah, you I was hoping for this I too. One, go, go. It's nothing more iconic than Tyrant's Meta Knight. Like, I think of this guy, I think Meta Knight. Oh, yes! And as you can see, that is why already making a show with his Meta Knight Tyrant going so deep to make sure that Dom cannot make it back to stage and he, he only took a little bit of percent along the way. Dude that was so freaking good. That was the Tyrant MK I remember. Dude I know that's really what I wanted to see man. Really really great stuff from him man. Yeah great start but can he I mean, can he, can he hold it, man? Can he yeah, hold it? Can he hold it? Can he weave? Can he bob and duck around these projectiles? I mean, look, he's going to have uh, multiple jumps now to kind of maneuver out of the situation more so. so. That will be a nice thing for him here. Um, and you don't really see Meta Knight all too often anymore. Um, so I think that the, the kind of speed and use, I mean, look at the setup. Oh, it's a drag down drag back air? Oh, and an air. That's, yo. Yeah, I know where you're going. You're gonna tether grab. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have to tether. You're gonna go right here. Eat the snare. That was so good, man. Yo, uh, Tyrant's, Tyrant's trying to wrap this game up. Let's go to game four already. Ooh. Dude, the movement. I'm loving it. Okay, down throw. All right. Goes for bear. Does not get to drag down. Puts a low nair. Oh my gosh, that would've been so good. That'd have been so good. Wow, that was sick, <laughs> dude. I, I I love watching quality Belmont play, and Dom brings that stuff all the time. He is a crap guy. Like he's out there in the slums, man, doing it, doing it big to the culture. Yeah, of course you can see him like going off stage again. You know, going for similar settings, but Dom now is uh, putting out projectiles to cover the the ledge. Yeah. To really deter Tyrant from, from picking that option. Oh my gosh, in the charge, and now we're at 108. Yo, don't. It ain't over till it's over, man. Okay, it's over. <laughs> Yo, JV2. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty big bet there by Dom. I understand what he was going for. He was hoping that he'd get that... He'd be able to throw out the cross, and then, like, Tyrant looking for him to wait. Because usually in that kind of scenario, a lot of people would be very scared. They're off stage. They feel like they need to recover quickly. And so, I think he was hoping that Tyrant would sense that, and that would give him time to kind of do something, like, on the slower end, and then come back. But... No, man. Uh, Tyrant going ahead and just instantly reacting to what he saw. Got the punish and the kill, and that's going to be in game three. Yeah, I mean, I'd be totally expecting to see more of this Meta Knight, which has been phenomenal <laughs> in the last game. Uh, yeah. I just want to see more of it. I want more. Okay, this must have been the incorrect stage. Yeah. Alright, let's get that switch. Yeah. What stage do you think we're gonna see here? Z fly? Probably Kalos. Yeah, Kalos is the best. Oh, actually, Town sure. and City. We've, I've been mm, seeing Dom yeah. go to Town and City a lot too. Yeah. Pokemon Stadium. No, this is not what I was expecting. See it. I mean, I think he liked that, like, long stage. Uh, the dual platforms are really good for him. Wow. Skid cancel, F tilt. I mean, combo in the Holy Cross. So smart. So good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he definitely went a full hop up there. Close the stock out. Yeah, what a what strong start for Dom. Already, man. Oh my. And the axe, dude. He's out here. Yeah, that was that was a complete reversal to how game three went, mm -hmm. where we saw Dom literally get obliterated within seconds, and now putting Tyrant in over a hundred percent in a matter of seconds. Almost a kill. Upset up shop. Another axe. Axe out. Nothing's out. Okay, here's the whole cross. Man, and Tyrant has been missing a lot of these platform conversions. He's gotten himself in a very, very good position. But you, you gotta close those ones out, especially in a Meta Knight 2 if you're underneath them. Like, that's the up, easy upgrade chain with some extra damage, potentially a kill. Another up B at a shield. You know, just extra damage that he's putting on a tire. There's another delta one into grab. Dude, you get so much mileage out of that. Man, and Dom just the appropriate name, man. Really? That's only at 85%. It's facing out the forward here, not getting tempted to try and punish the F smash from Meta Knight. Jeez, so much damage. Here comes the, uh, the beautiful, beautiful cross. Allows him to get on stage for free here. And, oh, we're going to forward throw. Oh, no, just going for F tail. Close the stock out. Easy stuff. Why mix it up? Damn, here we go. Yo, oh my gosh, what is happening to your life? 
Whoa. Yo, take all of this. Yep. Forget that game three. Let's get Damn. right back to on schedule for our wow. bracket wow. reset. Wow. Wow. A free stock to close it out. My boy Dom said. Thank you very much, man. Play the credits. <laughs> I'm on to another castle. That's right. Another castle and then another bracket. Handing out L's for everybody. Yep. Dude actually said your ass ain't Dracula. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> wow. That was insane. Like, it, it's hard to, to think about like how explosive that match was. I just think it's like between the B reverses and down tilts, you know, the jumps and the movement on these uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. There's just so much going on. And to see like Dom being so mobile and still able to find his opponent in the right position for the traps is like incredible. So, like I really, really love the usage of stuff I'm seeing from him. Even like the preemptive holy waters on the platforms. So like he even if he knows where he's not going to get like a full on guaranteed uh, combo starter per se, mm -hmm. just that active hitbox there is good enough to help as an anti air to help him set up some other like 50 50 situation and it just all blends together so well. Hold on, I'll get <sighs> back. Yeah, the, the movements, the the traps. The spacing that Dom's been putting out all just add up to that. Ready? That explosive damage and really clutch factor that, that we've been seeing him have. But now we see Tyrant going back to Politana. Could uh, could Meta Knight have just been good for one game? I'm kind of hoping we'd see more of it. you just uh join us here Dom was able to reset the bracket and we are in grand final set two and wow that's that's the way to open up definitely I, I was i was a little hesitant to see the the politano pick come from tyrant just because we saw uh, really how dominating dom was against the yeah. Politana, but here we have Tyrant. Looks like some adjustments have been made. He's fighting back, slowly weaving through. Yeah, see? Yeah, it's doing extremely well this time around. Uh, I like that. I love that. That was so good. Go for a double jump there off the ledge to pull him down, get himself another back throw, like another attempt. He was able to clear house, but still this idea. Rinse and repeat. People, I felt people are still not. Uh, you know, you don't see it all too often. It's a very active hitbox, though, and a uh, nice thing about it is it's multi-hit, too. So sometimes people see it and they block it, and they think, oh, well, you know, I can go and do my thing. No, you can't. No, you can't. Gotta hold this wheel. And you can see, like, now Tom is the, Tom is the one that's really struggling trying to get the skill on Tiger. But jumping into that max is not what you wanted. Yeah, I think you saw that, uh, the holy water, you did not want to get hit by that, so... Good stuff there by Dom, let's see if we can start anything here. He crosses out, you already know, good air dodge there. So important for a tyrant, but still, Dom's still ready, you know. 
I, I love when you see people who have the countermeasures to their own measures, right? You know, the the counterplay to their strategies, and they're ready for the to counter that as well. It's a really a true mark of someone the seasoned character specialist. Okay, drifting away. Keeping the space between himself and Dom is Tyrant. Uh, maintains his lead. She's in there. Yep, she loosened the cost. Oh, of course. Uh, proper DI there by Dom. Going for attack on that platform. Very, very crucial there. Uh, dealing with Palu and those Nair loops, especially at every percent. And you don't want to get hit off stage at around 50. Versus that character. Not fun. and out. Tyrant not able to follow up. Yeah, I'll be out of shield. Yeah. Take this. Oh, chasing so high and that's going to cost you. Yeah, whenever Dom yep. does that fast fall to the ground, he's looking to get the reversal. Grab. Where, where are the up airs? <laughs> I know, I thought we were going to see this come around. I mean, he's been going for up airs a couple times already before, too, so I'm surprised that we didn't see up airs this time around. You've got to be careful here. I mean, you have Dom um, sitting here at 131. Count 28. This is big, man. So we've seen what the subs can do. Here we go. You do not want to play ledge. And he knows that. And yeah, even with the nerf, that's going to do it. And we're going to have Tyrant clutching out game one here on Grand Final Set 2. Let's see? Game number two. It might be, you know, it, it might be sound a little crazy, but the the strategy against Dom might be to just mix up your your character every round, not really let him fully adjust to a character. Yeah, no, true, true. Damn, yeah, this uh, Belmont play has been wonderful. I've been loving it all around, man. Just really fun, exciting uh, MSM today. Yeah, it's been a good one. A lot of, a lot of, some new faces, some old faces, and seeing uh, some legends come out. Yeah. to play man To the town and city is here, like you were talking about before. 
Yeah, we've seen Dom pick this stage uh, quite often for his counter pick. Yeah. It is reasonable. I understand it. I feel like Dom does like a really good job of covering those platforms. And of course, the long flat stage yeah. allowed him to set up his traps, so it's very understandable why you would pick this stage. Scoreboard is wrong, I think that's right. Go. Step back. Pass, yeah. One thing I've noted. Oh, wow, my, what a catch there. <laughs> what a freaking catch there by Tyrant. So cool. Yeah, I feel like one of the main things that I've seen from him is he's been maneuvering around hold toss a lot better. I mean, a lot better as his uh, set progresses. And that's gonna be really key, right? Um, for Belmont in general. But like a lot of the extended combos and stuff that you're going to see from them is like how um, they place that cross. So I, I love that he's being aware of that. And so you just see that he's not taking that damage. And he's going through these skirmishes along the time. Yep, he's going to find some marks. Back. Oh my gosh, once again, he's added pressure on these platforms, and I love this, never overextending him, this is big, right, this is how you play a corner for, um, for a lot of characters from traditional fighters, good catch, finally finds him, wide open, he'll be able to punish, but you notice how he just never lets that space go, sets back, sets up crash, but the one time he overextends, that's where Harris can take advantage of him. So, so again, it's always important when you are trying to find him in the capacity is to be premeditated there and, and recognize you don't, you don't need to get that kill or come to you. Yeah, another forward air just keeps tire. wiping Tyrant away. Let's trap and get them with the down to the pull up the stock. Man. All straight from the Sakurai freaking from the Belmont trailer, dude. Good love. Slightly off with the holy water, I like that. Not 100% directly on that regular getup, so it's not needed, just to put it slight in between, so you know, can catch the tail end of a, a jump or a tail end of a roll. The spacing is so phenomenal. Yeah, Tyrant getting stuck on these platforms and these projectiles house to just make it much more difficult. Even putting like the holy water so close to Dom. So Tyrant going down the wire here. About to be the last hit in a stock situation. Oh, probably the catch with the falling there. Totally respected, oh, but patient with the up. jumps. Could say pressure there on the shield. Sitting back again, this is a great classic Dom. He does not want to lose that extension. Yes, he's gonna find his kill. And so good. I just love seeing that kind of control in the corner. It's so important. 
it's so fight on in fighting games and yet sometimes you don't see the strength in it as much because we have to deal with edgar because we have to deal with that uh, being actually ledge trapped so just to see that nuance of just keeping your opponent in the corner in that way so freaking good it's just too good And that evens up the score, 1-1. One, one. Game three, let's get into it. It's time. Yes, game three. three two, one, go! Oh, OB. Wow. <laughs> Theme! Richard is chase after you. Let's get cancel episodes. is one of the funniest things in the game. <laughs> Doing his best to get across the stage. Speaking of, back to roll. There you go. I'm the guess. Yeah. Dash attack into Nair. Trying to get some platform pressure as well. He had a shield, Tyrant comes back swinging. He's really trying to catch Dom off guard with these dash attacks, but he's just not finding them. It's... I can... Did you hear me, Z5? Uh, I can hear you now. Oh, you couldn't hear me before? No. Wow, I was just coming. I was like, damn, I can't hear Z5. I wonder why. What's going on? <laughs> oh, that, was, that was so sad. I was saying so much about the match. Oh, well. Well, we're here now. We're here to go. We are here now. Yes. Oh, they're set up. Wow. That's kind of funny. I didn't know that uh, the holy water uh, angle in that way could almost hit that other platform. Oh, that's such a cat. Oh, my God. I'm going to go there. Wow. My man just ran through the flames. Sometimes you're a little cold and you gotta get heated up, you know? Yep. Yeah. I don't blame him, dude. He's a fire, man. Yep. And up in the skies he goes, losing another stock. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's a. That, that's a tell if I have ever seen one, man. Like, yep. Oh, no. Yeah, he is just trying to go for Mix Up City on this platform. He's like, yeah, I want all the damage. I want everything. Ooh. Oh, jeez. I think the scariest thing too is that you know when a politician is in a situation where they just want to get the kill, is the deck one where you take down throw like up smash in that kind of situation. Jump. No jump. See what Tyrant can get. Oh, gets clipped by the Holy Cross, and yep, the chase continues. Yeah. Dumb. 
On relentless force. That yeah, was so good. Overextended right there, though. And Tyrant knows it. Let's see if Tyrant can keep him here. Oh, Tyrant went for the the roll and the back throw. And the, uh, such a solid tactic we've seen people use time and time again. But ultimately, when you are playing someone who has taken notice of that, you're getting up all that stage. And I uh, gave up all that stage, allowed Dom to get back on, and you know what it means? My man is going to run this place. It's his castle. It's his world. You know, whips. All the things he got, man. Mm -hmm. Can't stop him. It's a tough world to be in. Yes. And Tyrant's learning the hard way. You know, he's one game away from dropping this set. Coming in second place at MSM on line 16. The first... Uh, MSM we've seen him at in a long time. I wonder if we're just going to see a stage selection here, or if we are going to see another. Uh, I'm hoping we see another Hail Knight. Mary. Just give us another Hail Mary, Tyrant. Bring out Rob. He'll never suspect that. I know you got yeah. a Rob. That would be pretty wild if we see a Rob. I really, really, really just want to see uh, the Meta Knight once again, man. I feel like the Polytune has been kind of hard, and like one thing about Polytune is that. You know, the character itself, very, very solid, very, very strong character all throughout. But there's no, uh, there's no great variance with the character. It's just like the tools are just very strong, right? And so when you have someone that's kind of in that mode and they understand your kind of tendencies there, it's just hard to get out of that and adapt. Especially when you're going for a character that on the reverse side of the coin is not seen all too often in the Belmonts, especially not at this proficient level. Ready? Very true. But looks like Tyrant is sticking it out with the goddess Palutena. All right. Let's see it. Wow, very very quick teleport. He wanted out. He did. He wanted no business with that damage, man. Again, I feel like Dom has recognized that, and that's why you've seen him go for a slightly more aggressive approach while still maintaining his um his setup and everything too, which is phenomenal. are catching now this is a, a much closer game that we, we've seen from tyrant yeah no for sure we tried to get the platform cancel but still yeah. escaping escaping uh the juggle safely yeah God, those call-outs wow. on the double jumps up with the up air. So scary. Wow, good bird. Oh, cats is the holy water. Wow, great use of it. Yeah, that was, that was great. Very, very much needed in that time. Seems that just Dom was just strictly dictating the tempo. Now we're seeing this shift here. Let's see if uh, Tyrant can actually wreck up the damage. And just so I say that, Dom's gonna get that kill. You know what the interesting thing is? That I always have concern with uh, whenever I see Brawl Vets play because they're neutral. 
and they use scare machines that's like that usually they get a lot of great damage and really strong but man usually the damage and uh and the extra mix-ups that can allow it things to snowball in your favor are not really there and if we're not able to get that and you're playing someone who understands that man it can be frustrating like there's a lot of solid stuff we've seen in neutral from Dom, but he's also just like once he gets a hit, he's been able to to rinse and repeat. Yeah, seriously, he takes advantage and just he understands that his opponents have made a mistake, and he will put them in that scenario over and over until they figure out how to get out of it. Oh my god! Literally tried to sham wow him. <laughs> I mean, this is the place to do it. You're one game away from taking the entire tournament. Tyrant slowly working his way against his second to last stock. Yeah. Could that be? Not gonna kill just yet. Man. Get him out of here. Alright. Set shop up once again. Yep, and the axe is gonna go right through. Perfect timing to get that. That's gonna be covered, man. Dude, that's gonna be two framing for ages, dude. <laughs> okay, back throw. Not gonna kill, but off shows the opportunity. Goes for a nair. Nair nerfs, of course. So it's not gonna kill this time around, or is he uh, good enough to really set up another situation? Okay, making it back to ledge, but getting pushed off again with dash attack. Here we go, here's the scenario. Can you escape the ledge? Yeah, and he's been murdering, absolutely murdering the regular getups. You gotta be careful against him. Again, up he, up he's so good, because you know what that does. It, especially in the stage like this. It allows him to get stage again, of course a forward smash, so we're gonna get up once more. Dom is gonna be your MSN Online Champion, man. Farewell, gave him the three piece. Hold it, tell your kids about me. Dang. Let him, yeah, tell your friendly neighborhood vampires I'm coming for them. Yeah. Nighty night. Hmm.